Hi everyone! Today I'll be teaching you how to convert a PNG image array to PDF in Power Automate. As a reminder, this will work the same way in Logic Apps as well. To perform this flow, we will be using a Cloudmersive document conversion connector. But before we get started, remember to like and subscribe for more tutorials on using Cloudmersive connectors in Power Automate and Logic Apps. To start our flow, we need to click the Create button on the left hand side of the Power Automate homepage. Then, you'll need to choose Instant Flow and manually trigger a flow, then press Create. Once you've reached the Flow page, you can start adding new steps. Our first step will be to get the file content from your preferred file drive. This will be the first PNG in your image array. Then, we will add another Get File Content action and add in the second image that you'd like to add to your array. Once we've gathered all of the file content, we will add a Cloudmersive document conversion connector. This will be the Convert PNG Array to PDF action. Note that if you've never used one of our connectors before, you'll be prompted to enter your API key. This is free on the Cloudmersive website with no commitment, and once you've entered it here, you won't be asked for it again. Your first input file will be the file content from the first action. You can name this file whatever you'd like, followed by .png. The second file will be the file content from the second action. And once again, you can name it whatever you'd like, followed by .png. As you can see, you can continue inputting up to 10 PNG files to combine into your PDF document. Now we can add our final connector, which will be the create file action for your preferred file drive. Choose your desired folder path and input a file name, followed by .pdf. The file content should be the output content from the document conversion action. Now that we've completed our steps, we can save and test our flow. Click Test in the upper right-hand corner of the page. Then choose to perform the trigger action manually. Press Test and then Continue. Once it appears, you can click Run Flow and then Done. After clicking Done, you will see green check marks next to all of the connectors, showing that the flow worked. Sometimes it takes a second or two for all of the check marks to appear, so don't stress if that happens to you. If your flow doesn't work for some reason, check to make sure your original input files were valid for the connector, meaning they were uncorrupted PNG files, and that the name you chose for your files throughout the flow were followed by their file type, such as .png and .pdf. Now you can check your chosen folder for your newly converted PDF document. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe and check back in for more tutorials and tips on using Cloudmersive connectors in Power Automate.